Good morning and thanks for coming back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a continuation from what we started last week was these uh, jelly plate um, backgrounds for our art journal. So I created some of these using household items and also some scrapers with patterns in them that we can use to go further into our art journaling. So I'm going to try to do colors that will coordinate with what we've already got here and we're going to be making some transparencies using deli paper. So these are just sheets where I was brayering the paint, getting the paint off my brayer and um, we're going to further embellish these with some of these items here. Let me move that out of the way. So these are some of the items we'll be using and I'm with this series I'm trying to use strictly items that you can find around your house. Down the road, I'll also start using some stencils, but I wanted to start off here with things that don't require you to purchase items because we can go crazy at the art supply store and you don't have to. And if you're on a limited budget, you can find things around your house that you can use. So here we go colors I'm going to be using. It kind of keeps in time with what I started here. And they're darker colors than what I might want to use as my second per part to embellish with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dilute them down. Now, if I were to use white paint, the thing with white is it will totally cover everything. It's like or an eraser, it, it blocks out everything. So I don't want to block out some of this texture that I've already got on my paper. I don't want to block that out. I want a transparent layer. So I could dilute my paint here with white, but I don't really want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I took my classic Mod Podge and I put it in a little bottle with a flip top. Now these will clog, so you'll have to get a paper clicker or something each time you open for the first time to um, open it. You can see this one's still open. But I put Mod Podge and water and then shake it up really, really well. And this will thin the paint so that it'll become a little bit more transparent. So we'll start with this turquoise. I'm going to take that little seal off. And one of the things that a lot of beginners um, tend to do when they start using the jelly plate is they use way too much paint. And then they get frustrated because their images aren't going to come out that well. This is too much paint for this plate. So what we do in that case, oops, let me move my coffee cup out of the way. As we keep a piece of paper to the side, to pull some of that paint off as we spread it out on the plate. So by moving my brayer around, I'm distributing the paint more evenly on my plate. I'm gonna go in the other direction now. I'm gonna brayer some of that off, so I'm gonna spread it around because we don't waste any paint this way. And now I'm just going to go ahead and do some stamping. I'm going to clean that off and do it again. Now I could, if I wanted to, use this on my page. Let me make sure that's in the range of the camera so you can see it. So I'm going to stamp it and put some over here. And now we've got more. So we're using, in this way, we're using our gel plate as a stamp pad. So I'm looking, where can I use some more coverage? How about right here? But I'm gonna go and put it over here because deli paper is transparent. And what we wanna be able to do is to create some 
transparent little pieces of paper that we will tear and use to embellish with when we use our journal. And you'll see that as we move along. So I'm gonna take my deli paper and I'm actually going to print a page. I wanna get as much coverage on this page as possible. So there's one. Now see how I lost a lot of those dots? That means my plate is really wet, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just good to know in case you're going for something really, really specific. And pull that one off. Now I'm gonna put another color down. This blue, which is not opened yet. And I wanna lighten this color because I wanna try to keep them transparent. Now to stir colors on the plate, we're just gonna move it around. I'm moving it from the outside edge to the inside and I'm gonna stir to get it mixed and then thin it as much as I can because I want transparent layers. And this time, I think I'll use the netting. And this comes from, you know, what your potatoes and oranges and things like that come in in the grocery store. I'll lay that over the plate. Now I don't have much here, so I'm gonna go for this side of the paper. And I'm not gonna press real hard on this. By pressing harder, I, I'll get a more true Imp well, actually, I'll press hard in one spot. So I'm using the whole of my hand and I'm squeezing down into the plate. You can see the image coming through. And there we go. So see this side where I didn't, I just pressed lightly, I got dots. Over here, I got the image of the plate. Now where you're seeing all of this kind of coming together, that's because the paint was very wet, the plate was wet. So I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna go over and get, let's see, right here, spread it around. And you can see it coming through the plate. And there we go. Now I'm gonna lift this off. I'm gonna get a new sheet of paper. I'm gonna go for the whole thing. And I can get another one, so I will. The other side. A lot of times that second print is the one that comes out the re really a, a good one. You're like, oh, wow. So. And the reason why they're so good is because the paint is so thin. Now I'm gonna add a little sparkle. So this is Crystal Clear by Craft Smart. It's a very inexpensive paint. It has beautiful little tiny pieces of like Aurora Borealis glitter in it. I'm gonna put a little of that down, but I'm also gonna put a little color in there with it. So I'm gonna use some of the turquoise this time. And just a little, a drop. Stir it up. Brayer it out. Now I'm pressing a little harder on the brayer because I really want to try to get that paint moved around. And now I'm going to use less pressure. This is a wet plate. And the way I can tell is there's little streaks running this way. I'm going to bray her off this time, but I'm going to bray her off on top of that netting because it's going to leave an imprint. I don't know if you can see it because the color is pretty light, but 
I think you can see it there. And say, so I think I'm gonna go for some dots this time. I wish I had a bigger sheet of this. And again, I'm gonna go ahead and use this as a stamp and stamp some things here. Nice light colors. Spread that color around. Sweet. A little over on this side. Okay, and I don't want to put too much on that page because that's my background page. So now I'm going to come over and put some dots onto my transparent paper. Okay. Oops. And now this is the glitter, and this page does not have any glitter on it yet. So now I want to overlap these two pieces because that way I'll have more variety of paper to use. And this is going to be harder to see on the camera because you have to get it at an angle. But now I've got nice, subtle little blue dots. I'm not sure if I can get another one, but I'll try. There we go. Not bad. And next we're going to go into some greens. Make some paper with the greens. Now this is just regular kitchen string that she would use to tie up a roast or a chicken or something like that. Um, oh, I want to do the paint first. Sorry about that. And this is, um, it doesn't come out quite as iridescent as it is on this little sticker, but it does have some beautiful iridescence in it, which I think you can see there. So we're gonna put a little of that down. I think I need to start storing these upside down. Spray that out. Oh, that's a nice thin coat. Okay, I want to bring this closer to the camera so you can see it. See how nice and even that is? It looks like little dots instead of streaks. That's the perfect texture for, um, for doing this. Let's start another new sheet. I got my hand in it. So you're gonna have my handprint in this one. Make sure I cover the whole plate. Good. I'm gonna go again. Lift that off, and I'm going to get what's underneath it. And there we go. Sweet. All right? You can see a little bit of that turquoise that was left on from the previous pull. Now, this time I'm going to use some solid. And I'm going to add some of that glitter back into it. This is the crystal. This is the Michaels brand paint, I think. Store brand. There's still some gold, that green gold on here. I'm gonna not worry about that. I'm gonna mix this up, give it a good stir, and brayer. Now I see streaks going up and down, so I'm gonna go in the other direction. Try to even that out a little bit on the diagonal and I think that's good and I'm going to use the coffee cup holder when you know you get a hot cup of coffee and they have that there to insulate your hands that makes a nice stamp and I'm going to stamp 
over on this side to use up that. And I'm also going to place some of that string because I thought it would be fun to include that in there. I'm going to come back on top with this one. It's got a kind of a bare spot, so I'm going to try to lift up that. Press. Now this time I'm going to press really good around the string so that they get a nice crisp edge to that line. I use the palm of my hand and really press down into that plate. And there we go. So you can still see that green gold that's behind it peeking through the string. And now I'm gonna lift the string off. And there's a little bit of a ghost left there. And I'm gonna try and see if I can get that one to come off too. Again, nice firm pressure, even pressure on the plate. And there it is, it shows up. So now I'm gonna bring in some more turquoise. This is also one of those iridescent colors. And again, just a little bit, doesn't take much. That's plenty. I still got green on my brayer, that is okay. And this time I'm gonna leave these in like little spots. So it's a little bit on the blotchy side, which is okay. Get another sheet, brayer that off. Who knows what's underneath it? It's okay. I think I'm gonna go on the diagonal of it this time. Not that it matters. Just variety for me. Oops. Take the whole plate with it. Oh, that's so pretty. Let me get this other corner here. Yep, there we go. So these are nice and clear. You can see how the other colors show through on these, and that's what we're after. So we can tear these pieces up and use those in our art journaling, okay? So there you are for today.